Perry of the circus. Jerry of the circus. Come on, Rags, hurry up. <laughs> well, you wanted to go with me. Now hurry. <laughs> ah, that's the fella. Come on, here we are. Mr. Andal. <laughs> Quiet, Rags. Be right with him. All right, he'll open the door right away. Oh, oh, it's you, Jerry and Rags. <laughs> yeah, well, come in. I uh, want to see you about something, Mr. Randall. Oh, you? Well, that's funny. What's funny about that? <laughs> well, I want to see you, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your, your Uncle Dan was just here. He was uh, showing me a letter he got regarding an expedition. A job? Well, not exactly. Uh, what did it say in the letter? You're uh, interested, aren't you? Well, sure I am. I don't think there's anything I'd wish for more than to see Uncle Dan get back in the big game hunting business. That's the spirit, Jerry. And it looks like perhaps it won't be long until he's doing that very thing. Oh, that's your great news, Mr. Randall. Yes, sir. This, uh, this company gave him an order for apes and zebras and lions. I guess I don't understand just how that order is going to help him go on an expedition. Well, uh, it's like this, Jerry. If your uncle can get another order like that, he, he won't have much trouble borrowing the money to finance an expedition. Oh, I see. If whoever gives him the money knows he'll be able to sell the animals he captures, they'll feel safe. That's, uh, that's the idea, Jerry. They uh, already know from your uncle's past record that he'll be able to make his catches. And now that he's got a market for the animals he gets, well, it's a good investment to give him the loan. Was he happy about it? Oh, you just bet he was. <laughs> Say, he'd, he'd leave for Africa tonight, if possible. Jiminy, I'm sure glad. At last he'll be doing what he wants to do. Mm-hmm. Well, now what was it you wanted to see me about? Oh, well, I got so interested in what you were telling me that I completely forgot about speed. Uh, uh, speed? Yeah, he's a fella. I mean, I wanted to ask you if you'd give him a job. He'd be a good man, Mr. Randall. You'll like him, I know you well, will. No, 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 wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, not so fast. Now, take it easy. <laughs> well, what's this all about? Well, I'll start at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good idea. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, well, in the first place, one of the Rusoff's horses got away. Uh, wh wh what's this? Sure, and it was Rex, one of the fastest ones they owned. Yeah, yeah, I know the one you mean, a spirited animal if there ever was one. Well, he got away from one of the hustlers and when they were leading him over to the big top this afternoon. Yeah. He ran right up that steep rocky hill over that way. Well, did, did, did they get him back all right? Sure, but let me tell you... Uh, that's where speed comes in. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Well, I started to go get Splendor Saddle and take him out after Rex. And as I started toward the horse stop, I met this man, Speed. Mm -hmm. Fine time to stop and get acquainted with strangers. Oh, I didn't stop. I kept on going. But I told him that a horse got away and ran up the hill. Yeah, yeah, and then, then what? Well, before I knew it, Speed was running right up that hill in the direction Rex went. Oh, taking out after a fast animal like that on foot? Uh-huh. <laughs> and he caught Rex, too. Oh, now, wait a minute, Jerry. Honest, he did, Mr. Randall. I got Splinter's saddle and started up the hill. But before I got all the way to the uh, top, a speed caught Rex and was starting down. And that's why I think he'd be a good man to hire. But, uh, well, what can he do besides run? Well, I don't know, but I should think he'd be a good act. Oh, uh, no, no, I... I can't agree with you this time. It wouldn't be much of a novelty to see a man run around the ring, even though he is fast. All right, then. But, well, how about him running against a horse? Say that again? 
I said, how about having him run in a race with a horse? Well, uh, you really think he can? You should just see how fast he is. Come on out and meet him, Mr. Randall. Well, well all right, I will. Come on, Ray. All right, go ahead. Okay. Oh, speed. Right here, Jerry. Uh, come here a minute. He's got long enough legs to be a fast runner. Yes, sir. Yeah, I come. Uh, this is Mr. Randall Speed, the owner of the circus. Powerful glad to meet up with you, sir. Well, uh, glad to know you, Speed. Uh, Jerry here tells me you're a pretty fast runner. Well, I can run all right, sir. I just said you could run a race with a horse. Isn't that so? I reckon so. Well, now, that's a, that's a fairly big order. I'm aware of that, sir. It might be that uh, I could use you for... Let me try it, sir. I really need work mighty bad right now. Uh-huh. Well, all right. Uh, let's find out just how this idea of Jerry's going to work out. Shall I go get a horse, Mr. Randall? Yeah, do that. Uh, Speed and I will walk over to the big... Uh, no, no, wait, wait. Uh, there goes one of the hospitals now. Who is that fellow, Jerry? Let's see. Oh, it's Herman. Yeah. Uh, Herman! Yes, Mr. Randall? Uh, go tell Whitey to send over one of his fastest horses. And have him put a saddle on him. What for, Jerry? Well, I'll ride him. Oh, okay, that's all right. Uh, yeah, and have him saddle, Herman. Uh, we'll be in the big top. Yes, sir, right away. I sure hope you find me good enough to take my arm, sir. Well, we'll see. We'll see, Speed. Well, come on now. Let's uh, let's get over there. Okay. Come on, Ray. <laughs> That dog is playing the fast. Uh-huh. You bet he is. Yeah, I should say, you know, Rags is one of our star performers. That so? Mm. He's a cute little fellow, all right. Mm. Uh, tell me a little about yourself, Speed. Well, sir, there's not a whole lot to tell, Mr. Randall, sir. Uh, how'd you uh, happen to be such a fast runner? Well, I guess, sir, uh, running just runs in the family. Uh, <laughs> and did you ever do any professional running? Oh, yes, I work county fairs and the like. I'm an actor, all right. That doesn't make you an actor, Speed. Well, the, uh, Jerry, the point is he's worked before audiences, and that's what I'm interested in. Oh. Yes, sir, I've been before the public quite a bit, sir. Well, that's good. Yeah, if this stunt of racing a horse works out, you might build yourself into quite an attraction. Now, first, I'll have to see just how fast you really are. Uh, right in this way, Speed. Come on, Rags. Yeah. Well, here we are. No one around. Well, that's just as well. Uh oh, here comes Herman with Lady. Lady? That's okay, Mr. Randall. She's plenty fast. Yeah. Uh, now, look, Speed. Here's a track. It uh, runs all the way around. Yes, sir. Uh, do you think you could uh, run all the way from here, clear around, and back again? I don't like to toot my own horn too much, sir, but that's just a warm-up run for me. Huh? <laughs> yes, I could run around any number of times. Uh -huh. This is going to be good. Of course, sir, you'll have to make allowances for the fact that I'm not in good condition. Uh -huh. But if you take my answer, and I do a bit of running every day, well, I really run, sir. Well, if you're anywhere near as good as you say you are, I don't think you'll have, have to worry much about a job. Uh, right over here, Herman. All right, Herman. Didn't take Whitey long to get that horse out. No, no, that was quick work. Be quiet, Rags. There she is. All settled. All right, thanks, Herman. That's okay, Mr. Randall. Shall I wait? Yeah, uh, just stand over there, and you can take Lady back when we're finished. Uh, yes, I'll get up on her now, huh? Yeah, all right, Jerry. Oh, uh, are you ready, Speed? Yes, yeah. sir. All right. Uh, now, listen, Jerry. I'll give the signal to start. You ride Lady as fast as you can, and don't try to hold her down. Okay, Mr. Randall. Uh, get right alongside the horse, Speed. All right. Here we go. Get ready. Get set. Go. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, come on in, Patsy. Me too. Oh, sure. Come on, boys. Have a look at this. A, a man racing a horse. Yeah. He's a hell of a horse. Right, uh, ride, Jerry. Ride. Yes. Say, that boy's all right. Yeah. Uh, good work, Speed. Uh, hey. I don't believe I've ever in my life seen anyone run so fast. Uh, it is truly remarkable. I would, well, I would never believe such a thing could be possible. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. That's a clever turn. Come on, Jerry. Hey. Come on. No, <laughs> it's no use now. <laughs> that boy speed is going to cross the finish line yards in front of Lady and Jerry. Oh. oh no. uh, good work, Speed. I wasn't. Quite used to the footman. Ah, uh, well, take your time, Speed. Get your wind. Oh, my, that's quite a stunt. Thank you kindly, ma'am. I tried as hard as I could to beat him, Mr. Randall. It was all right, Jerry. I could run a better race than that. Well, that's good enough. Well, yeah, I've got to get back to the office wagon. You want to come along with me, Speed? You better will, sir. Thank you kindly, sir. Uh, uh, you'll excuse me, Patsy and Boris. Say, say, Boris. Yes, Mr. Randall? Say, uh, how did you get that eye of yours banged up like that? I... 
I bumped into a daughter. Oh, oh, say, that's too bad. I, I didn't notice it during the matinee this afternoon. Uh, no, sir, I, I covered it with makeup. Oh, yeah, I see. Well, I hope it clears up soon. Well, so long, everybody. Goodbye, Goodbye Mr. Randall. Mr. Randall. Goodbye. Hey, what do you think of my discovery, Patsy? Oh, he's about the fastest you and I ever saw. I discovered him. You did? Uh-huh. And, by the way, you should thank him for getting Rex back. Oh, is he the fellow that ran up the hill and caught my horse? That's him. Shall I take Lady back to the horse stop now? Uh, yeah, thanks, Herman. Okay, come on, Lady. And I will thank him. I'll go to him and thank him personally. Uh, I figured the act out, too. Oh, what do you mean, Jerry? Well, I mean, the idea of him racing with a horse. Very clever, Jerry, very clever. You're quite a little showman. Gee, I sure hope Mr. Randall takes him on. I don't think you have to worry about that. It looked like he was all ready to talk business. Well, I gotta get back to the wagon. Bumps will wonder where I am. Uh, you gonna walk over that way? Uh, no, Jerry. Uh, Patsy and I are going to walk the other way. Okay. Well, I'll be seeing you. So long. Come on, Rags. Rags? Why, well, I saw him over the wagon with Bumps. Well, can you imagine that? Running away and not watching me ride lady. <laughs> You're public. <laughs> Goodbye, Jerry. Uh, now, uh, what what are you going to say, Patsy? Oh, uh, oh, oh, yes, Boris. I wanted you to tell me some more of your plans for that South American trip. You might be interested in my proposition. Well, I don't know yet, Boris. But what little you told me sounds good. And it is good, my dear Patsy. You do not think for one minute Boris Rusoff would go into anything unless it was the best kind of a deal. I shouldn't think so. You can trust a man of my caliber, and my business ability is the best. Yes, but Olga said that there's always a certain amount of risk in taking a circus to a foreign country. Olga is very conservative, Patsy. But you should know I would not want you to put your money into something that would be would not be a safe investment for you. I, I, I would not be so heartless. Uh, tell me, Boris... Just how much of an interest in the show could I get for my $20,000? Well, I should say roughly about a fourth interest. Uh -huh. And that means you would receive a fourth of all the profits. Besides, of course, your salary is a star attraction. I, I might add that your salary would be a very generous one. Doesn't that sound good? Yes, it does. Just think. Visiting all the gay cities of Brazil and Argentina and making lots of money while you are having a wonderful time. Uh, I'll give it some serious thought, Boris. But not a word to anyone about this, Patsy. I know. You understand that until it is all settled, I wouldn't want my name connected with this thing. No, no, I'll be careful, Boris. That is good. And I know you have very excellent business judgment. Uh, Patsy! Right here, Mr. Randall. Where did Jerry leave? Yes, he did, just a minute ago. Where did he go, over to the horse top? No, uh, he went over to the wagon, I think. Uh, anything important? Yes, I want him to come over to the office wagon. A package just arrived for him from Richard Grayson. Oh, I... Ah, oh, but it's the contents of that safety deposit box. Mm -hmm. I'll go tell him, Mr. Randall. I'll have him come over right away. Good. I'll be waiting for him. 